Hello, welcome to Health Talk with Nicole and Dr. Martha. I'm Nicole Tatro, and today we have our second Health Talk panel. I've gathered up our health coaches again. We have Anne, who's a health coach who owns Yellow Door Salon, and Hannah, who is also a health coach and owns Health Hero Farm in South Hero, and Jessica, who's also a health coach at Elite Health and Wellness. Today, we've decided that we would like to talk a little bit more about detox, that scary word that people think they don't know how to do. <laughs> and we are going to try to uh, describe to you today how to do that and how to not let it be so scary. So, does anyone want to open up talking a little bit about detox? What does it mean to you guys? Well, for me, this time of year, I think about... Um, all of the foods and things we did over the winter, you know, winter time mm -hmm. is time for comfort <laughs> food, you know, heavier foods, holiday foods, probably more sugar, less activity, Absolutely. and our bodies have maybe built up some toxins and, um, and you know, just like you sprinkling your house, you can sprinkling your body. <laughs> it's like a natural instinct to hold on to things in the winter yeah. time. Um, appropriately because it's cold, at least up here. I'm not <laughs> sure we're reviewing <laughs> us, but uh, here we were freezing all winter. Mm. So naturally, it was good to consume those warming, um, wholesome foods, and it was appropriate. But now it's time to get rid of it. Right. Correct. That's a really good point. Yeah. For, for me, um, it's giving some of those organs rest that you overwork when you're putting things in your body that um, aren't so healthy for you. <laughs> And this gives you a chance to um, eliminate those um, for a period of time um, and help your, um, you know, like digestive system and your liver and that, those kinds of things to um, have that break and, and um, heal somewhat. Absolutely. Uh, you know, and um, just gives you a lot more energy and a, a better feeling overall. Absolutely. Kind of like to think of it as like the little reset button, you know, okay, time to start over again, only it was clean easy, slate, right? Just <laughs> 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 clean all this out, more, you know, yeah. seasonal, and just be really conscious of the things that you're choosing, like organic foods, and, you know, just take a break, like Anne said. Mm. Really interesting, I think Hannah just brought it up, of getting rid of things. So, we naturally want to spring clean our houses, right? Mm -hmm. So it's the same with our body, we want to naturally get rid of what doesn't serve us. So you do the same thing and I, do you ever have that overwhelming pull to go through your sock drawer and say, that doesn't fit, <laughs> those fall off, I can't stand it, get rid of it. Right. You know, and you hang on to it for a while but then mm -hmm. you get to that point where you just get rid of it. And I think of clothes because I'm doing that all the time, like why am I hanging on to this? Mm -hmm. I'm not going to save it for best and that's my dad's favorite saying. Yeah. Um, but it's getting rid of it and that works the same for our bodies. We need to get rid of what doesn't serve us both physically, emotionally, everything. Mm. So very interesting concept for people. Yeah, and the thing that we have to realize too is just as hard as it is for us to get to that point of, I need to clean the house and do the spring cleaning, it seems unpleasant that there are times throughout the detox that it's not gonna be so pleasant. You're gonna have headaches and, and things are gonna feel funny um, because your body is getting rid of those things that you um, are not serving you anymore. Um, and then after the feeling um, of, again, the energy that you have and just an overall better feeling is well worth any of that whatsoever. Absolutely. What's really great, actually Jessica and I put together, um, we do a f four, the four seasons, we do a seasonal detox program to help mm. guide people. Mm -hmm. And what I think sets it different than a lot of the other things you might see online or out there is that we support them with daily detox tools because Yes, you will have that, but you don't have to suffer. There's ways to help yourself get through some of that. Right. So we'll talk about that in a little bit. I've actually brought some props to show people, oh. and I think that's um, a fabulous way to try to help support your body. And we say daily detox because it's something that we should be doing on a daily basis because our bodies are meant to detox, and I think that's what people forget mm -hmm. is that we are orchestrated in order to detox, we get rid of things all the time because we, we live in a toxic world. Right. I mean, there's no way we're going to get away with not breathing in. I mean, they're paving on my way in today. Mm -hmm. You're breathing that in. My body doesn't like that, so eventually it's got to detox it. It has to get rid of it. 
And th that's a really good point. I think no matter how clean you eat, mm -hmm. in your everyday life, you're encountering toxins. Your body is, like you said, breathing them in. You're touching um, <clears throat> foods that you eat may have things right. in them you don't know about. Mm -hmm. um, so I think that this detox, this seasonal detox, is not just for some people. It's really for everybody it to really consider. It really should be. Yeah. It's something, that's why I thought if we did at least a little piece, and, and I'm sure we're going to build on this, mm -hmm. and I'm going to ask you guys for more health panels, but it's so incredibly important. Mm -hmm. And some people just blow it off. They think, ah, detox, you know. It's not just for weight loss. It is to clean yeah. your body out. And I think we discussed in our last taping that, you know, that brain fog might go away. The fatigue might go away, and you weren't even planning on that. Yeah. So it's hard to stress that until they actually go through it. But hopefully if we can reach a couple of people mm. with our little health panels to explain that it's, it is for everyone. Yeah, the even the, even the children, because they're exposed to just as much and they actually have a harder time sometimes Absolutely. getting rid of that. Their organs aren't as strong as ours sometimes. I mean, individual cases, of course. But mm -hmm. um, it's very important. Mm -hmm. Definitely. I know uh, Jess and I, when we have patients um, discuss something, we, I think almost everyone, on a daily basis, we give away our detox bath recipe. <laughs> and it's not scary. It's literally get in a bath. Number one, you're resting. You're kind of taking some time, self-care, taking some time for yourself. And let's see, what do we put in it, Jess? Uh, Epsom salt. Epsom salt, lavender essential oil. Uh, we even do some- Sea salt. Sea salt, baking soda. And some and apple cider vinegar. Some apple cider vinegar, mm -hmm. ooh, the big one. Yeah. It's incredible. It's incredible. And you make it a little bit hotter, you know, not scolding, but a nice hot bath. Mm -hmm. And what we'll do is some of these tips that we're discussing today in our show, we will put them on our website. And at the end of the show, I'll give you that address so that you guys can get the tips and tricks that we are sharing today. So any other tips and tricks? What do you guys think? What can we share? Well, one of my things that I also add to my bath is uh, bentonite clay, because that can pull oh, toxins out of your nice. body also. I That's do that as a mask things. sometimes on my face. <laughs> yes, yeah. Lovely. <laughs> I think one of the key parts to detox is um, increasing your water intake, really mm -hmm. tracking mm -hmm. your water so you know how much you're drinking. I think a lot of people think, oh yeah, I drink water. That's all I drink all day, but don't really know how much and um, are a lot of times I find kind of shocked that they're really not drinking as much as they think. And when, as you're flushing out those toxins, it's That's so the important. That's right there. Flushing, yeah. You are drinking plenty of water to help your body clean out. I think I'd like to have an entire session of our health talk show on the lymphatic system. Mm. It might seem boring at first, but it's an incredible system that we don't really talk about. But that's what the lymphatic system is, our sewer system. And if we don't have that water to help flush it through, things are getting blocked and stagnant. Right. And it's incredible how, where it can get blocked and, and stuck, basically. Yeah. But an easy way, I was just thinking, um, almost everybody has some sort of iPhone or a smartphone. Mm. There's an app for that. You can track your water right. intake. I mean, every time you do it, it's you can true. just track it. I it's mean, if that makes it easier. And what I do, I have two water bottles that I use. I know how much they hold. So I know how many I have to drink every day. That's great. And so I have, um, I drink five of them every day. You know, that's, that's what I know I need to get through my body. And um, I think it's that measuring and tracking that, that can help you. I agree. Help you get through that, yeah. I think one of the things that I do when I'm detoxing is I'm not a natural athlete. I don't, I don't get a lot of natural activity in my life right now. I'm sitting a lot. And um, sometimes when I get headaches, you would think the, the, the most basic thing that you want to do is go take a nap. You have a headache. You don't want to do anything. <laughs> but I find we have a little rebounder at work, and I have one at home. And I'll get on that for a few minutes and just bounce around. And, you know, and, and my headache will be gone. It's like just getting that lymph just flowing and bouncing around. You would, you would think that would cause joint pain or headaches, but it's just, it's such a relief yeah. to get that thing, get And just in case moving. people don't know, a rebounder is just basically a little mini trampoline. Right. You can find them on Amazon. You find them on lawn sales, you know, and they're <laughs> everywhere because people get rid of them, but um, incredible, incredible. 
So I wanted to share a, a couple of tips before we end our show on the daily detox, stuff that you can do on a daily basis to help yourself, um, whether you're in an active elimination detox or you're just living your life. A couple of things I brought for show and tell today, um, something that I wasn't really all that familiar with until I started my clean eating was a tongue scraper, or this one's called the tongue cleaner. Um, bought this on Amazon. It's a clean one, I promise. <laughs> you literally are scraping your tongue. You're getting it to the back of your tongue and scraping forward. I like to do mine before I brush my teeth. If you don't have one of these, uh, you could simply use the back of a spoon. Mm -hmm. And you just want to get that bacteria, especially in the morning, because that's when we're detoxing the most is at nighttime. Mm -hmm. And things will form in the back of our throat, in the back of our tongues. So getting rid of it instead of recirculating that bacteria. I know, it's like kind of... Yeah. Makes you want to gag a little bit. <laughs> yeah. um, so this is something all of us in our family, including my four-year-old daughter, has. You know, I still have to help her. This one's a little big. I should have tried to find a little one for her, but it's an incredible, we just, it's part of our uh, toothbrushing routine. That also helps with food cravings, too, because if, the, oh, if that point. is left on your tongue, you're still kind of tasting it. And wanting that, whatever it was that you happen to have had again. Really? Yeah. That was something mm. that I that's interesting. Had learned recently. Yes. Wow. Yeah. That's wild. Something else that um, has become one of my favorite daily detoxing, and I don't know if you guys have one. So this is a dry skin brush. You don't put this in the water in the shower. I do it before the shower. I use the big one for my body and the little one is for my face. And you make sure that you're getting natural bristles, not the synthetic bristles mm -hmm. because they could scratch you. And what you would do is make nice circular, I start with my toes and work my way up towards my heart. Sometimes I'll go towards my lymph nodes. And we'll have some tips for you guys on our website to help you with that. But you make nice circular um, motion all the way up your body and you get the lymph flowing. And I do the little one for my face just because it's a little less, uh, not that this is aggressive, but it's just a little easier to handle. Mm -hmm. But when I was away on my trip, I didn't bring these. I couldn't pack them. I packed as light as I could. I used a dry towel. Mm -hmm. So that's something that anybody can use as a dry towel. And I like to do it before the shower. I'm not sure if you guys do it before or after, but I do it before the shower because then I, rinse, I feel like I rinse things off afterwards. Mm -hmm. Uh, something else that we will give some education on, but um, is a castor oil pack. We, uh, this is a wool, like wool flannel, and I put castor oil on the wool flannel, and I place it over my stomach, especially over the liver. The liver is a fabulous organ to think about in springtime, it's the, the, the honoring um, organ this season. So we put it a little bit more around our ab, you know, abdominal, abdominal area and the liver, Sometimes I do the quick version uh, and I do, I try to find a BPA free saran wrap. I'm on the go a lot and I will wrap that around my stomach. Mm -hmm. If you have the time and if you don't want to use the saran wrap, you can do a nice warm towel with a hot water bottle. So I do try to put some hot water if I'm laying, but sometimes I'm on the go so much I feel like I'm at least getting a little. I'm trying to be real life with everyone because it's realistic. Right. Right. Do you guys do castor oil packs? Have you tried them? That's not one I think I Jess tried. has, yeah. I have, yes. Um, not regularly, but usually if I have, you know, I feel like something's coming on or if I feel like my body's fighting something, then I may give it. We can educate a little more on that. Again, we're going to have several of these health panels. I know it. We have lots to talk about and lots to share. So thanks for viewing today. I appreciate you stopping by. If you have a burning health question, we'd love to answer your questions right here on the show. You're going to want to visit www.EliteHealthAndWellnessVT.com. Over on the right, you'll see where you can submit a question. We'd love to hear from you. Hope you have a happy and healthy day. Thanks. Bye-bye.